So apparently COVID-19 can now be transmitted to sexual intercourse, or at least that's according to a special doctor from Romania, which has been rather famous, or should I say infamous, during the COVID-19 pandemic. But is there any type of evidence from a medical perspective or a scientific perspective about this? Let's dive into this. The doctor in question is actually a pneumologist or a lung specialist from Ro Romania named Flavia Groshan, which during the COVID-19 pandemic has had some very, let's call them special points of view, amongst others saying that oxygen is actually harmful. To be completely transparent, high levels of oxygen, if not necessary, can be harmful as any substance in excess, just like water in excess that can give water poisoning. But that's not what she was referring to. Instead, she actually advised patients that had a low uh, oxygen saturation to stay at home and to keep away from oxygen. And there have actually been reports at the hospitals of patients having low saturations, which denied getting the much needed oxygen therapy. A few days ago, she came out again and uh, wrote a Facebook post talking about a case of sexually transmitted COVID. According to her claim, she saw a 32-year-old male patient which had unprotected sexual intercourse with a woman that started developing some symptoms, such as, according to the text, chest pain, uh, throat ache, and became very tired. Now, she jumps to the conclusion that this is because of the spike protein, which apparently people that receive the vaccine are now producing into their sexual fluids. Talk about a wild claim. And this has, of course, caused a big uh, backlash uh, in Romania, especially from other medical professionals, which, of course, have contradicted this hypothesis, citing that there are no such pieces of evidence that COVID is sexually transmitted. But are they right? Well, a simple search on Google will lead us to Mayo Clinic's uh, homepage, where they clearly state that uh, COVID-19 is not a sexually transmitted disease. Yes, if you have sex, whether protected or not, with a person that has the infection, and again, I underline infection, then yes, you can get COVID, but not because of the sexual intercourse, but because you had close contact to somebody. And that's how usually the virus is transmitted. I stress this because Dr. Groshan said that is the spike protein you receive through vaccination that is sexually transmitted, not that people with an active infection can transmit it. And this is also what is pointed out by Mayo Clinic, that a active virus infection can actually be transmitted through close contact, but not through uh, sexual intercourse. I also done some more literature searching, never found any article on this subject, and I've never seen that a spike protein should be sexually transmitted and generate an active COVID-19 infection. A clear it is a hoax and a false claim. Because of the backlash, Dr. Groshan actually deleted the post and came out with other posts saying that, uh, yeah, she heard something and then posted about it, but now she's denying to believe into this hypothesis, although she clearly promoted it before. And as you would expect, doctors from Romania are actually evaluating through their official accredited board of uh, specialists whether or not she should have uh, the right to practice medicine. We'll see where this uh, leads to. So in conclusion, COVID-19 is not a STD, a sexually transmitted disease. And no, the vaccination does not spread through sexual intercourse. Be always critical when you hear such news. Also, if they are a doctor, remember doctors have to be sciences. So each claim we make needs to have some studies. Be them at least some laboratory studies on some cell cultures or my studies or anything like that. Maybe things without any piece of evidence is not valid. You can have this hypothesis, but you need to test it out until you communicate it to the public to avoid unnecessary panic. I know there are a lot of conspiracy theories, but please do be critical and try to find some objective pieces of evidence for the claim you are trying to prove. Always have informed opinion, and this is a general rule of thumb in life, not just with regards to medicine. Do you guys agree with me? 
let me know in the comment section down below. And also press the like button, it will really help this uh, channel grow. And if you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy this video over here.